If you're still switching between five different tools to schedule, post, track your social media performance, you're making your job way harder than it actually needs to be. In this video, I am going to be sharing my screen with you and I'm going to be working you the step-by-step -step process of how I plan, of how I schedule and of how I analyze an entire week's worth of content or an entire month's worth of content using Metrical, which is my go-to all-in-one So social media management tool. Hey everyone, I am a mobile at Judge Barry, the social media ogre, and I am your social media manager's favorite social media manager. And this video is in partnership with Metrico, and I'm going to be giving you an in-depth screen share tutorial showing you exactly how I plan, how I schedule, and how I analyze my social media content, my social media performance using Metrico. So make sure to grab your laptop because you can follow along as I do this in real time. There is my Metrico dashboard dashboard and I am going to walk you through everything step by step of how I create new posts, how I select multiple platforms, how I tweak the tone of my content and edit every single thing. We're going to start with the planning phase. This is a summary. You can see my followers based on my account. You can see the number of posts on each platform. You can see the number of interactions on each platform and you can see the number of impressions on the platforms that I have connected. But let's go into to my favorite part which is the planning part and as you can see here you can see that I use Metrico religiously I don't post on Sundays and sometimes I post on Saturdays you can see all the posts that I've scheduled has actually gone out and all of them are showing green and you can see most times I schedule my content for both Instagram and then I'm going to start by creating a new post and I'm going to walk you guys through it we're going to create a new post for Instagram and we're also going to create a new post for LinkedIn then. One thing I want to talk about first of all when it comes to creating my post is the Canva and Google Drive integration. Also, it is also integrated with Adobe Express. I do most of my designs within Canva. And if you're working with clients, sometimes they send you their content via Google Drive. And I love how Metrical makes this really, really easy. So all you have to do is click on this multimedia icon. And you can see here, it tells you to add image or add video. That's if the image already exists on your laptop or on your phone and you see here adobe google drive and canva i'm going to be using canva to show you this example but you can check also the stock images the stock videos and the gifts gallery but i am going into canva already if your canva account is not connected it will tell you to connect it but mine is already connected so it's going to bring out most of the folders and most of the designs that i already have within canva i'm going to click on a to z of social media management because I keep all of them in a folder. It tells me the quality is 80. You can increase the quality if you want. And I'm using the JPG size. You can use the PNG size if you want. Now it will show you the exported files and you can see showing me all of the files that I have, but I don't need everything. So I'm going to uncheck all and I'm going to start checking from this point, which is what I want. That's from page 14 because those are the slides that I want to show and I'm going to click on accept all. Now I'm going to go to the linking part and I'm going to click on edit content because I want to edit by network. I want to be able to set a LinkedIn process where it shows as an image carousel and immediately I clicked on image carousel. You can see that it changed so that they are reading it like they are sliding like we do carousels on Instagram. When I go to the Instagram club part and I click on edit Instagram, it already does that for me easily so instagram i don't have to do that but for with linkedin that's why i always choose to edit by preset if you are somebody that maybe just wants to upload for only linkedin you can upload as a pdf but because i do my designs one by one i want to see the designs one by one i just click that particular preset on it now you see it's showing me an error published dates can be past date so i'm scheduling this for wednesday because i have some other videos that i need to schedule that i will probably schedule over the weekend monday and tuesday so i'm going to just pick a 9 a.m time let's see 9 a.m i'm just going to pick that for now but metrical still gives me like the best time to post so we'll talk about that very soon now you have things that says add document add emojis add first comments I always like to like add my first comments. I'm going to go to my Instagram first of all, and I'm going to say, wow, we just have 11 more letters to go. Feels like yesterday <laughs> we started. First up, and I'm going to 
accept it. That's for my Instagram. I always like to do that on Instagram, but LinkedIn looks quite creepy if I don't. <laughs> now I want to generate posts with my AI assistant. So I'm going to click on that and it says write the topic to generate posts. So you want to make sure that you instruct it very well so that you get the right prompt. I'm writing a recap of the A to Z of social media management letters k to o a was for pl was for listening twos m was for management twos n was niche knowledge and o was for onboarding i want it to sound very educational i always like fix that as my tone language is english and i would tell it to optimize for instagram so and i tell it to generate the text for me it gives me this think of kpis like i really really actually love this so i'm just going to click on use text for now and then we can edit as we go if you want to search for hashtags you can just come to the hashtag button and search for hashtags but i'm not looking for hashtags because if i just click on the hashtag button it brings out most of my used hashtags which is the social media ogre brings out a to set of social media management brings out social media manager and brings out social media management. Those are the ones that I'm going to use. I'm just going to copy and paste into the LinkedIn part also because I'm editing by distance. So I also make sure I put it in template. Now for Instagram presets, if you have like a collaborator, you want to collaborate with somebody, you can add a collaborator here. You just click on it and put look for the username of the collaborator and then you add the collaborator there. There are also like global presets that you want to do. I'm also very, very particular about adding location to my content so just so i'm i reach people also in that particular location which is the united kingdom now it's very very specific with where the distance is so i just put united kingdom as a place just before i post i want to see how it looks like on my instagram feed if you come here it shows you the feed preview and when you click on it you get to see how this particular post will look like on your feed so this is my instagram feed it's already connected to metrical so you can see how many followers i have how many i'm following my bio and then you see how it looks like on your feed you can also see how it looks like on this is how it will look like on your feed when people are interacting with it then you can see it on how it looks like on desktop it's quite larger than it looks like on the phone so you want to make sure you do that and then all you have to do is you can either send to review now if you work with a team you can send to review if you want to you can save in your posts library you can save as a draft but i am just going to schedule now you can also choose to publish it if you want to do because sometimes i i publish it directly because i wanted to record like i'm publishing from metrical as you can see here it is published now the next thing we're going to talk about is the drag and drop scheduler and the best time to post now once a post is ready and maybe i don't want to post it on wednesday again i want to post it on thursday all i have to do is just come under the post and drag and drop it i can drag the linkedin in one and drop it on the 23rd and it's going to drag and drop and change the time for me now when it comes to best times to post you see that here i clicked on best times to post on instagram i want to see the best time to post on instagram but then i'm not seeing it right now all you have to do is come to these three dots here and you go to the week and with it you see that it's the best time to post based on percentage most times because i want my post to be like the first post they see i always post within the 70 89 80 90 percent it's just still works but i don't post within the three percent two percent you can see the best time to post on a particular day based on your content you can see there's some days that i posted between the 80 something the 70 something i don't really go lower than 70. you can check your best time to post and adjust your content based on that so let's go to the one i already scheduled and i can see here that the best time to post is 5 pm so if i want to post by 5 pm on that day all i have to do is drag it to 4 p.m and you can see everything will adjust automatically now we're going to go into 
the analytics part and this is the first time i'm going to show you guys my analytics my analytics which i am not proud of but yeah let's get into the parts that separates metrical from other platforms the first one i'm going to talk about is competitor analysis and i'm going to go into my instagram because i already have some of my competitor analysis set up you can see here that you're seeing accounts like ashley my girl and pretty little marketer shante kia and then myself you can now compare your metrics like your posting frequency your engagement you can choose the name of the competitor you want to add so all you have to do is just put the name of the competitor and had it there i already have some more i have more than more than i have eight you can see tommy seen omolola you get to see the data of their engagement their comments their likes the reels and i can see here that maybe because i'm doing a lot of more reels like their posts are doing better with likes because they are doing a lot of carousels compared to me that is doing reels after my series with the a to z of social media management it's just this is just informing me that what i need to do is more carousels because carousels do really well on instagram i don't really post on facebook that's why the analytics are going down now let's also talk about like the reuse content feature because i did this campaign with metrical recently a few weeks ago and i really love this reuse feature it is one of my secret productivity tricks and if a post really performed well you don't have to start from scratch all you have to do is go to that post. If you can see, the posts that have been performing well in the past few days, in the past few weeks, are my recap. All I had to do was retweak it and reuse the same content. And if you check, I just basically changed the colors in Canva and reuse the same content. So let me show you guys my Instagram post. It's almost like the same thing. The Instagram post, you can see it was scheduled via Metrico. You can see F feedback loops, the way I wrote the caption there. So let's go back into Metrico and let's see the last one too. I literally used the same same format because using the reuse feature. All you have to do is come to that particular content. You can see my reels that actually did well. Let's pick the unboxing that I did for OM and I'm going to click on reuse content. Metrical takes you directly to a new window in your planner. So it comes back in your planner and then I can repurpose this for LinkedIn instead of Instagram. I want to reuse this particular content on LinkedIn, not Instagram. So I'm going to remove this last part that says comment the word steady and I will send you the link. Then I'm going to click on edit video because I want to remove that last call to action because the automation that I scheduled only works on Instagram. It doesn't work on other platforms. It does on Instagram. So I want to make sure that I cut that part off from the video before I post it on LinkedIn. Now, as you can see here, my video editor is open. So what I'm going to do is I am going to go to the part that ends with great content and I'm going to click on save. As you can see, Metrical makes it easy for me to reuse my content, not just on Instagram, but on any other platform that I want to reuse my content on. That's how you can use the reuse content feature. And as you can see, Metrical makes it easy for me. All I have to do is just schedule the content and then it goes now let's go into the real work which is my analytics if you're someone that manages for clients and you ask me what's the best scheduler that you should use i will tell you metrical this is my analytics i've increased by 1402 followers right in the past 30 days that number of followers isn't showing on my account oh no this is facebook sorry that was instagram but that just shows that i need to post more on facebook i've been losing followers guys i've been losing followers but I've come to realize that people have also been losing their account. So you can see there's a decline. There's a decline in the... Because I was done 78.5k before. Now I'm 78.3, but it's fine. I've lost a lot of followers. At the point, I gained 22, but then I lost more. I've lost 129. What do you do when you need to submit your reports to clients? All you have to do is come to the report part in Metric. Let's do the last 30 days, which is... I need to select from 17 to... Let me see. If I say 30 days... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. let's do from the 19th good then you can pick a template or you can create a new template so the selections you want i don't want a summary i don't want summary because summary you can pick the ones that you want i don't want for web i don't want for twitter i don't want for blue sky i don't want for facebook i don't also want meta ads i definitely want everything for instagram i also want one for linkedin so you can just untick the ones that you don't 
don't want instead of me just saying i don't want i don't want i don't want <laughs> so untick the ones that you don't want so i want the growth i want the reach i want the average reach per post i want the interactions i want the ranking of my posts yeah let's see what hashtags are working i want my ranking of reels average reels per post reels interaction i want the reels i want the stories so you can select which particular part of the report that you want i'm also going to go to linkedin and i'm going to pick the selected parts that i want which is more of my growth my page views my content viewed within period post impression seniority and company size like what people that have been viewing my post my interactions my ranking of the post i don't want to know what location or anything my newsletter impressions even though i've not been writing newsletters but let's see my rank is on my newsletter then i'm going to click on save it's going to save and then you can choose to change the background color or add a logo you can choose to receive this report every month via email you should select that another thing i'm going to do is you've got to come to edit your template right you can go to the background and the logo the metrical logo is fine if not upload your own logo for your brand you can also change the cover background of the report you can change the body background and call it title insights then you see the colors and the preview you can change these colors if you want to metrical has made my life easier i'm not gonna change anything then all you have to do is just tell it to generate pdf for you now i'm going to show you this previous pdf that i generated of the report and you can see it is showing me the social media insights for that you can see social media for facebook instagram threads and link shows me the impressions shows me the interactions shows me the post you can see the ranking of my posts for social media my threads and everything you can see your community goes if you don't want to confuse your client you can do all of that and if you don't want to send the document you just want to send them a link you can metrically generate a link for you that all they have to do is just click on the link and it will show them all of the content that they need to see you can see the reach of my published post if you don't want this big metrical logo there you can adjust everything if you want to so those are the things that i really love using metrical for when it comes to generating reports it takes a little while to actually publish that report from time to time but once it's ready you can download it and attach it okay it's ready now so let's just copy this url i just generated by the way so you can see it's only showing me for instagram and linkedin so if that's the only report you want to show and you can see my instagram followers supersedes my linkedin followers definitely look at where the linkedin is look at where instagram is and I can see here the impressions of my Instagram is wobbly, but it still tells me that Instagram is like my main platform for my report. You can see the interactions on my Instagram are way more than the interactions on my LinkedIn post. I do a lot of more Instagram posts than LinkedIn. It just means that I need to put in more effort into my LinkedIn. You can see the ranking of my Instagram posts. Most of my Instagram posts, I did 20 rows for that. You can see my community growth, how many followers I lost. And this is one of the things that I actually love. So if you want to show standard reports to your clients for analytics which we're going to dive in later on maybe before the end of this year or early next year definitely with metrical you want to make sure that you're using metrical for your reports it just makes life easier for you you can see the average reach per day how many people watch your videos per day for social media how many people does my post reach per day my average reach per day is 3401 people it tells you the number of posts that you've published in that particular month and i feel like metrical just makes life easier for you if you are a creator if you are a freelancer if you are a social media manager and you want to save time you want to stay consistent you want to make data driven decisions metrical needs to be your best friend and if you're wondering how do i start using metrical today there is a link in the description below that if you use my code sm oga that's social media oga you will get 30 days free of any premium plan on metrical and definitely you want to drop your money after that premium plan i promise you can also check the pinned comment it has the link there it is the all-in-one so that keeps your content organized it keeps your analytics clear and it keeps your strategy intentional like i love metric and if you follow me on instagram or you follow me on linkedin you know i'm always talking about how metrical is that girl and i'm very very excited to be partnering with them to show you how exactly i am able to schedule my content analyze my content and reuse them and that's it for today's video remember i am i am your social media manager's favorite social 
social media manager and if this video helped you don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to drop all your metrical related questions in the comments and i will be answering all of them in the comment section and i will see you guys in the next video bye guys